your service. Hey, I'm still alive, guys. They didn't get me. They didn't find me. I keep moving. I'm on the move. I'm on the go. <laughs> they have a hard time triangulating my position. <laughs> As soon as they as soon as they find me, boom! I'm gone. I'm gone. Second, bye bye. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to see the markets popping off a little bit, starting to recoup some of my losses. I'm just about completely back to to, to even, so that's that's a bonus. Uh, I am getting rid of some of the stocks because I don't think this turmoil is over. But you know, I was thinking this morning too. When does the market ever do what people think it's gonna do? You know. Like, it's always a shock when it when it skyrockets to the moon or it shoots to the floor. It seems like it's always a shock. Yeah, there's insiders that know, but most of us peons, we don't know. So in that way, I mean, it could possibly pop. But I mean, everything is pointing down. Everything is pointing towards a uh, bear rally. Pop! And so that's why I'm getting rid of some things. What what things am I getting rid of that I don't? Well, see, I, I love Amazon. Amazon is solid. A lot of people are still ordering stuff on Amazon. But I am unloading a few of those since I'm back into profit with my Amazons. Um, I'm still buying solar companies on weak we, uh, weakness. I'm not buying any Tesla yet because, it, I, in my opinion, that sucker is still valued way too high. I like to back out to the five-year um, and take a look at stocks. And what I'm looking for is, is how far above the 2020 levels they are. And when I look at Tesla, I see a stock that's still way, copy tongue, way above 2020. And, and I mean way, I mean it's dropped a lot and it's still way above 2020 levels. So I'm still not interested in that stock. And you know, guys give me shit about Facebook, but uh, it's, it's playing out all right for me right now. I have been dabbling in and out of that one as well. Another one that I've been bouncing in and out of is Energy Stocks XLE to be exact. I've been bouncing in, I've been bouncing out, I've been bouncing in. That sucker's a gift horse. It's, it's, I'm, I'm surprised like the last two days, the mar not, not today, but yesterday and the day before, the market was actually going down kind of, I think. And, and XL and oil was going down and XLE was still going up. Well, now oil's finally going up and XLE's still fucking going up. I mean, guys, 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 guys. Uh, I bought some more Bitcoin today. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did. I bought some Bitcoin, guys. I'm starting to get back into the Bitcoin. I am, I am. I don't know how deep I'm going to go. I just dabbled today. I just touched in. I I, I put $1,000. Sorry about that. Kip. Kip, you know. Kip, he's Kip. And here comes Kip again. But yeah, I, I'm Kip. I did dabble a little bit. I put some money into Bitcoin. Kip is still on the table, and you see, he did that. That vibration, that's Kip. I did. I'm going to close it out real quick here. I did get back into Bitcoin, guys. And I am going to get back into it because, you know, I I, I, I could get burned here. God, Kip, please. I could get burned here, but I'm starting to get back into it. No, Kip. I'm just going to buy the lows and little bits, tiny, but tiny bits. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'm just keeping it real, guys. I'm keeping it real. Kip, on the other hand, he's not keeping it real. Oh, he's edging for fleas. You better not have fleas, Kip. You better not. Ah! Kip, he just, he wants that attention. You know, Kip needs the attention. Kip says hi.